Doc Draper is. He's just not satisfied to take no for an answer. He wants to know why. I don't blame him either. No, I don't blame him either. Here, have a sterilized napkin. No, oh, thank you. you. Gotta admit, it was a pretty sudden reversal. Though. Yeah. But it was a, a final no. I mean, they weren't going to think about it or anything like that. Well, now, look, I don't know anything about uh, law firms. It seems to me that Seward, Paxton, and Whiteside didn't handle this situation very well. I thought lawyers were supposed to be tactful, at least. Well, what are they going to do, Miles? I mean, if for some reason they decide that Draper's not the right man for the job, all they can do is tell him. Well, maybe so. Maybe it's best to just be quick about it. But still, I, they take him to New York. They make all sorts of fantastic promises to him. And, I don't know, something smells wrong about it. Draper's taking it really hard, too. I feel bad for him. Oh, you don't feel that bad, though, do you, April? Well, I'll admit I'm really confused. I just don't know how to behave. One part of me wants to cry when I look at Draper's face and see what he's going through. Another part of me wants to break open bottles of champagne and throw confetti around the place. That may sound bad, but I mean, it's really the truth. I'm glad that I... That I don't have to leave you and, and Nicole and Margo, my my new home, my new job. I can jump for joy when I think that I can stay right here. Does that sound terrible? No, it just sounds human, that's all. Well, then come on, join us for dinner tonight. Oh, what is this? Celebration? You're going to drink champagne, throw confetti? Well, more like trying to cheer Draper up. It was Margo's idea. She's even made the reservations. Where, where is this? At the Unicorn? Mm-hmm. Draper and I have never even been there. Ah, uh, well, thank you, April, but I... I don't think I can make a dinner party tonight. No, no, I just had dinner with Mr. Elliot Dorn a couple of nights ago. I'm not that anxious to repeat the experience. Elliot Thank you very is much. not going to be eating with us. He's going Listen, to be taking care of the restaurant. I'm surprised you're so keen on running into him again. I'm not. I don't really want to see him, but I can't exactly avoid him. He is Margot's husband. I can't pretend that he just doesn't exist. By, by the way, speaking of Elliot... You didn't tell me anything about your weekend in Palace Park. How'd it go? What? Weekend is a weekend. It's all over and done with. Why don't we, why don't we concentrate on what we can do for Draper? Oh, no, you don't. You're not getting off the hook that easy. I want to know about Elliot. You did see him, didn't you? Yes. Well, he was a little hard to avoid. Well, did you talk to him? I told you we had dinner together, the five of us, Nicole and I and Elliot and Raven and Logan. Okay, what dinner. I want to know is did you get a chance to talk to Elliot alone? A little chat, yeah. Talk about Margo? Her name came up. Miles, come on! Trying to get a story out of you is like pulling teeth. Look, Tell if you're me. asking if I chastise him about the way he behaved with the maid, Sarah, the answer is no. I told you I don't want to play that kind of role. Right. It's oh. not any of my business right. what kind of a marriage Elliot and Margot had. Right. Okay. And he did promise that he was going to reform. Think he meant it? No. All right, all right, all right. Forget about Elliot. Come on, why don't you come to dinner with us tonight? I asked Nicole, she's willing. Divide and conquer, eh? <laughs> <laughs> come on, you mean a lot to me, and Draper. Well, I'll tell you, I'll do my best, but I've got, I've got a dozen patients coming mm -hmm. this afternoon. I'm so far behind in my record keeping, mm -hmm. it isn't funny. I'm gonna have to be in this office until after nine o'clock. We can eat late. The unicorn won't mind. <laughs>